If we did not know it before, we do now. The second-ranked Cardinals do not like to lose at home. If it were based on stats alone, I think everyone would agree he's the odds-on favorite. But the last couple games, yes. inconsistent on his part. Hey, you would sell your soul for that many titles. At least we have a soul. Oh, okay, okay there, Louisville Mike. Clearly, it is a house divided here. It's been a long road for Jay Boy's Echo, but Romans is confident he can get it done. Meanwhile, unlike Louisville's scrimmage, Kentucky's scrimmage today was in fact open. And what do you know? Actual pictures. The 40-year-old trying to shake off some rust. Aledmus Diaz says, how's that going? Todd Pletcher is always dreaming, able to overcome some sloppy conditions here at Churchill Downs and able to overcome some behavioral issues in the days leading up to the race. I always thought the rules of soccer were pretty straightforward. Use your feet, no hand. Now, I don't think it specifically says you can't bite another player. But I always thought everyone knew that was a no-no. Well, some days you have it, and some days you do not. And this was a day where the Louisville Cardinals did not have it. Tom, this is what you play for tonight right here at Cliff Hagen Stadium. It's all on the line. One last question before we go. Jeff Ruby, the Steakhouse in Cincinnati, has said it will give students free steaks if Northern Kentucky wins tonight. Rick, I'm putting you on the spot. Is there any way it's all-you-can-eat filet mignon for the North students? Like any athlete, a good horse has to have a good shoe. Just like me or you, uh, the more comfortable you are with your shoes, the better you're able to perform. And so when Todd Pletcher needs these shoes on any of his horses, he goes straight to this father-son duo. Yes, he he's ready, could you help me out? And I said to myself, oh, gee, this guy seemed like such a nice guy. I'll take the job. That was 21 years ago. Ray Amato has been with Pletcher ever since. Together with his son, Ray Jr., the two prepare every one of Pletcher's horses for race day. That includes Always Dreaming, the favorite in this Saturday's Kentucky Derby. Well, can we help a horse win? What I like to say is we can help a horse run as fast as his ability will let him run. Shoeing each horse takes about 25 minutes. If we can make him feel comfortable, he'll stand better for us. The Amatos have got it down to a science. Well, of course you pull a shoe. You got to trim the sole. Trim out the frog. Then you got to fit the shoe. Banging around. And... I'll tell you what, I was zipping, boy, when I was younger. All right, so you see the hammer and you see the nail, and then you see the action. Now you're probably thinking they're hurting the horse, but Amato says that's not the case, and that's because he's doing the job the right way. It's just like your fingernail. If you trim it correctly, like mine are, then it's fine. Sure, the job has its dangers. Well, you don't want to be kicked. You don't, you don't, no, no, nobody wants to be kicked. But when done correctly, great things can happen. We're going to win it again this year. Yeah, they've got the tools, but most certainly the Amatos have the talent. Mike Lissette, WDRB Sports. It did not take very long for Sour Mono to get the call of a lifetime. Less than two weeks after making an opening day start at the AAA level here in Louisville, Romano made his first ever start in the majors today. Just say it could have gone better. Before the game, the 23-year-old greeted by the home fans before taking the hill against Milwaukee. Ryan Braun greeted him too in his own way. Third inning, goodbye baseball. That two-run blast made it 2-0, but Romano was not out of the woods yet. Next batter, Travis Shaw. Uh-oh, that two is gone, way gone. Up there in the stands, at least that fan there burned some calories getting that ball. Romano only three innings, walked four batters, three hits, and two earned runs. Not his best. Reds did show fight in this one with one on A. Eugenio Suarez, his third homer of the year. That made it 3-2 in the fourth. But Eric Thames and the Brewers had all the answers. In the seventh, another homer against oh, another former bat, Tim Adelman. Just got recalled from Louisville. Thanks for coming. Reds fall 4-2. They dropped three of four to the Brewers. Here's the rookie Romano on what went wrong. Um, mm -mm, certainly not his best. Meanwhile, in the minors, the bats, well, they've been playing at their best over the last three days. Today, you look for the four-game sweep on the defending IL West champion Columbus. But it was not meant to be. The Clippers jumped out first in the Here's bottom of the first. Chris Colabello going straight away, one run in, and just like that, and the bats playing catch up and they never caught up. It's Eric Gonzalez in the third and drive to center. That, my friends, is gone. And that is a bats loss. No sweep for Louisville. The bats fall by the final of 8 nothing. 
On a college baseball, UK pitcher Justin Lewis was not feeling well before his start today against Missouri. By the end of the start, the right-hander was feeling much better. The Tigers, however, were not. Lewis, under the weather, spent most of pregame in the trainer's room, but he gave it a go and <laughs> did pretty darn good. Went yesterday. five innings, struck out four, three hits, only gave up one run, which is a lot better than Missouri did. Already 2-1 in the sixth. Luke Becker to short, not only scores a run here, but Becker beats out the throw. It's 3-1 UK. Cats were not done. Later in the inning with the bases loaded, Marcus Carson going up the middle. Two more runs going to score. 6-1 the final. Kentucky takes two of three on the road against Missouri. The Wildcats will host Louisville on Tuesday. Well, straight ahead, we'll look back at the action from last night at Freedom Hall and hear from the game's MVP, future Wildcat, Shea Gilgis Alexander. When it comes to making it on the Louisville baseball team, head coach Dan McDonald has one simple rule. There's no entitlement. You got to earn your keep here. You got to work hard, get there early, stay there late. You basically have to do what Todd Esther does every day. He's always around, um, and he, he really just inspires us, you know, to be better people. And he does it all just by showing up. The 46-year-old suffers from cerebral palsy. Getting around via motorized wheelchair isn't easy, but nothing seems to stop him from being with his beloved cards. Oh, this is, this is the world. This is, this is kind of his life. He really, he loves all sports, but he's able to be a, come out and it's kind of hand, what he calls hands-on. Sometimes we'll have a little meeting on the field, a quick meeting, and little do I know, he's right in the middle of it. For 10 years, that's been the story here at Jim Patterson Stadium. Soon after attending his first game, Esser met with Coach McDonald. Soon, he started going to practice. Then, he started going to every practice. It wasn't like we looked at him and felt sorry for him or anything like that. It was like, man, this guy really loves us and spends a lot of time supporting us. So we just started loving him back. Through time, Esser became just one of the guys. He'll cheer him after a great play and get on him when things go wrong. Todd is a really funny guy. He'll, he'll bag on us. Like, if you tell him you didn't do well on a test or something, he'll, he'll be like, what the heck? Yes, he is truly part of the team, enjoying every moment from their run to the Super Regionals. Do you think you're going to beat Kentucky? Oh, no. We got to one day at the time. Mike Lissette, WDRB Sports.